AJ, my life as America's greatest race car driver, AJ Foyt with William Neely. See, back in the day, when they were busting their butt, he could actually win. When they were working really hard to get into the race club, where you just buy it, he could win. Man's praise for AJ. One time it was fourteen ninety five. This book allows you to see into AJ, the way you see into a car when you lift the hood. The book reads as fast as AJ drives because, as anyone who has stood around his garage in Gasoline Alley knows, he has a wonderful and funny storyteller, Sam Posey. This is a no-holds-barred autobiography by the auto racing's most outspoken and most successful driver. AJ has raced at Indianapolis and presented it 25 times and won it four times. No other man has. He's also won the man's Daytona and $4 million. He has been in the United States Auto Club Championship seven times. He is unique and he has raced an incredible variety of automobiles, both championship cars and stockers, everything from sprint cars to sports cars. There's been no one constant throughout his career winning. Foyt is a man who always knew exactly what he wanted, went out and got it. And telling his story takes us where few fans have ever been. Into the cockpit of his race car and into the mind of a man. And racing is everything. Doesn't hesitate to say what he thinks. There are bad drivers and good drivers. And AJ... Names, names. AJ is also an insider's assault on the establishment. First time disclosures of how cutthroat competition for multi-million dollar stakes motivates giant corporations. As well as dill daredevil drivers. AJ Foyt was born in Texas in Houston Heights. His father was a mechanic, so from... Early age, lived in a world redolent of the garage and the racetrack, one chock-a-block with the excitement and energy of high-powered engines and the compulsion to go faster to make the last calculated gamble that leads to victory. AJ Foyt's career has not been all checkered flags and cheering crowds, it's been terrible accidents and months of recuperation from broken back and innumerable burns, breaks and punctures. He's lost races because of minute mechanical failures. He's been long-time competitors perishing clouds of flame and gnashing metal. AJ offers uniquely candid look at a way of life lived only by a fearless few. Street kid who had made it to the pinnacle of his profession, AJ, looks back at his accomplishments, his rush for glory, shares his readers a rare opportunity to view, devoted absolutely to winning races, and doing it better than anyone else has ever has. The author of 11 previous books, William Neely, lives in Jane Lou, West Virginia, Tired driver himself, Neely was also manager of racing public relations for Goodyear. He and AJ have been friends for 20 years. Designed by Doris Borowski, photograph courtesy a focus on sports. 3 Park Avenue, New York, New York, 10016, printed in USA. So $16 million books, $16 for this book, times let's say a million, 3 million people bought it maybe. That's like seventy million dollars, right? If you if you expected an AJ Foyt was born in uh, Houston and race cars and uh, loved his family, sort of biography, you're going to be disappointed. Oh. There'll be some of that, too, makes this story clearer. But I really want to get to how just how it was in those tough days when you couldn't buy a ride in Indy. Back when you had to work your ass off to earn one, 
And you know, they really don't make drivers like they used to. That's a fact. Very competitive. That's what it is. It is com competitive that has made me successful. Determination that just won't quit. That's what it takes to get the tr top of anything. Even today, there were time when I have a car that was n not very competitive, but I never give up. Any any time, any time I strap myself in a car, new race car. I feel like I I can win. Otherwise, I wouldn't be driving it. Times when I know it's going to be tough, but there's never never been a time when I really didn't think I could with one or in a way or another. So they're out there with tornadoes. They need some kind of money and come. So nobody would really help them, so they accused of stuff. They said it's a gangland, violent, dangerous, people by sending guns and stuff. Because you won't help them. See, when you're dangerous gangland, because no one will help you, you won't pay your bills. After they tried, after they tried to work with you on stuff and you wouldn't pay their bills, then they got selling guns and stuff. Gording a stash of gold selling guns because you wouldn't help them. Here's your book. We had some money. Then he buys a bunch of guns to protect what he had because you wouldn't help them. After they wouldn't pay your bills, then with his guns, he buys some more. With his money, he buys like Buys a bunch of guns, deals guns, buys a bunch of gold to guard them, sells a bunch of guns and gold to, to survive. She really even help people after that. See, when you won't pay your bills, they buy a bunch of gold to guard your guns and buy and sell guns because you really won't help people. Do so you ask for stuff and you won't help people? Hmm? It's a really cutthroat place. Where would Met A.J. Foy in 1963 and over the years watched him methodically break every automobile racing record in the books. Meaning that he's actually done everything he set out to do. He's done it with the flair of Man Lay and Dr. J and Babe. Ruth all wrapped in rum. Along the way, we wrecked a few motel rooms, rental cars, to keep things in the proper perspective. The day I first met AJ, I was in the garage area, the Indianapolis motorway, motor speedway. It was raining and a bunch of us were sitting in a tiny frame garage looking at this pearl white Offenheiser in the race car. Swapping race stories, handled racing public relations for Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. That's the way they like to see it rim, the ampersands and spelled out.